Yeah, I welcome you once again to Menalize TV. And today I'm privileged to uh, guide you to find the total surface area of a cylinder. So, first of all, we have to know what a cylinder is. So, as you can see, I'm holding something like a biscuit box, biscuit box, but it's not a biscuit box, it's a cylinder. So, this is an example of a cylinder or what a cylinder looks like. Now, when you look at this, we have the base here and the circular base. At the top, we have a circular top. And at this side, we call it the height. And this is the base of the cylinder. Now, when you are asked to find the total surface area of this cylinder, first of all, you have to find the area of the base here and the area of the top, as well as the area of this round uh, object. So when we cut the cylinder open, this is what you'll be seeing. This is how the base is like and the top too as well. So this cylinder, you can say this is a, a closed type of cylinder. It's closed upwards, both ends. So as you can see, we have one uh, circular shape here. Another circular shape as well. So there are two. So when you look at this one what we have to do is to cut it open so when you cut it open this is how it will look like now with this the top here is a circumference so when you open it this side becomes the circumference and this side becomes what the height so what we are going to do is now to look at the length of the cylinder on the board and how to find the total surface area now looking at this this is the the cylinder and this is the net of the cylinder now when you look at the net of the cylinder you realize that we have a circular object here and the circular object at this end so from here you can say this circular object is there or is this one and this one too is that one now the circular object is a cycle and how do we find the area of the cycle? Area of the cycle is pi radius square, and this one will also be pi radius square. Now, when we come to this, now when we envelope it, you realize that we have the circumference. Now, for us to find the circumference, we say the circumference is 2 pi radius, and this becomes our height. Now, looking at this, it means that this will give you the area this is another area and this also what? another area so for us to find the total surface area so first you have to find the area of this plus the area of the second one plus the area of the rectangular shape that we have there but we will not use the length as the breadth as we use for the rectangle so this the area is pi radius square and this is also pi radius square and this is this area will be 2 pi radius h so when you find the area of this and you add it to the area of this and you add it to this area we are finding what the total surface area of a closed cylinder so the cylinder is closed at this end and also closed at this end so that is the area of finding the total surface area of a closed cylinder so let's take a look at this diagram we want to find the total surface area and the volume of this cylinder so when you look at this you realize that our radius is 7 centimeters and the height is 10 centimeters so we are going to take the pi to be equal to 22 out of 7 so we want to find the total surface area so like i said to find the total surface area we have to identify that this is the net of the cylinder
So this is the net of the closed cylinder. So first we have to find the area of this and the area of this one plus the area of the rectangular shape that we have there. So looking at this, we know that the area of this is the pi radius square and this one is also pi radius square. Now this becomes our circumference. So the circumference is giving us 2 pi radius. So with the 2 pi radius, this is our height here. So, so the area of this is pi radius square and another circle of there. So pi radius square plus this one 2 pi radius h as the area of this. So 2 pi, pi radius square, we have the pi radius square as 2 there. So we can factor out. So we have 2 pi radius square for this 2 plus 2 pi radius h. That's this one. So from there, we can factorize. So as you can see, we have 2 pi radius, 2 pi radius. So this will give us 2 pi radius outside the bracket. Then in the bracket, we have the radius plus the height. So all that we have said, we can use this formula to find the total surface area of a closed cylinder, a cylinder that is closed at both ends. So, this, so we are now going to input or substitute the values to see the result that we get. So we have the 2 times the pi, which is 22 out of 7, times the radius, 7 centimeters. Then into bracket, the radius, 7 centimeters, plus the height, 10 centimeters. So with this, this will cancel this. So we are now having 2 times 22 will give us 44 centimeters. Then into bracket, the 7 plus the 10 giving us 17 centimeters. So, what, so the 44 times 17 will give us 748 centimeters square. That is the total surface area of a cylinder having the radius of 7 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. Now we move to find the volume of the cylinder. So now we want to look at the volume of the cylinder. So you say the volume is equal to the pi radius square times the height. So the area of the base times the height. So with the cylinder that you have there, the radius is 7 centimeters pi 22 out of 7 times the height and the height is 10 centimeters so we just put the values into it and get our result so the pi 22 out of 7 times the radius square 7 centimeters times another 7 centimeters so the radius square that is the radius times the radius so times the height our height is 10 centimeters so we say from here we can say that the C7 will cancel this then we have 22 times 7 we are getting 54 154 centimeters squared times the height of 10 centimeters so 154 times 10 we are getting 1540 centimeters cube as the volume of a cylinder when the radius is 7 centimeters and the height is 10 centimeters as well as taking the pi to be 22 out of 7. Now I want to look at the formula for a cylinder like this one there's no cover at the end there's no cover here so this cylinder is hollow because there's no it's, it's an open cylinder so it's open so it's not closed here and it is not closed at the other end so when it is hollow we want to look at the formula that we can use and when the cylinder is half closed or open at one end or closed at one end how do we find that one 
also. So let's continue. So with the cylinder closed at one end, the net will be this with this. So to find the area of this is the pi, 2 pi radius h, and this is pi radius square. So when you are asked to find the total surface area of a cylinder closed at one end, so you have to use the formula 2 pi radius h plus pi radius square. That's the formula for cylinder closed at one end. So when you come to a cylinder that is not covered, or a hollow cylinder, when they say the cylinder is hollow, that means there's a hole inside, or it's not closed at any end, so the formula will be 2 pi radius h for finding the area uh, of that one. So the area of a hollow cylinder is 2 pi radius h. So another name for the hollow cylinder is curved surface area. So you can say curved surface area. So this is the curved surface. How do, what do we say is a curved? So this is it. So when you open it, this side becomes the curved surface area. So remember to subscribe to the channel Mineralize TV and share the channel link with your friends so that they can also subscribe. Thank you so much.